and what a difference a day makes. So guys, today is the day that the Dodge Grand Caravan gets delivered. Well, it really doesn't look that way right now, but once we get it all cleaned up, we should be good to go. So we did get the tailgate all fixed up. It had quite a bang right here, as well as over on the other side, but uh, dad's got the bodywork done. It looks great, and I think the customer is going to be very, very happy. Another common thing with Chrysler and their aluminum hoods is the leading edge of the hood will generally start to blister. Now these hoods are aluminum, yes, but when they get like a small rock chip or moisture gets up in there, the paint starts separating and they bubble. So this one was no different, even though it's a 13 with low mileage, right in this corner here, as well as this corner over here and a little tiny bit along the edge, it was starting to bubble. So we figured while we had the spray can out and the spray gun and all the equipment to do the tailgate, we figured we would prep the hood to do the same thing. So we took the hood off the vehicle and painted it over here as at the same time as we did the tailgate. And now the customer is going to have a blemish free 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan. So uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I have nothing to hide. As, as you guys know about this channel, I'm all about transparency. I have no problem showing you some of the things that we do behind the scenes. And this is one of them. We get a vehicle in here that needs some touch up. And this 2012 Chrysler 200 is no different. Again, aluminum hood. We likely will be taking the hood off of this one, sanding it down and getting it fixed up as well. So even on some of the cheaper cars, we want to make sure that when they hit our lot, they'll look like a million bucks. And one more surprise that we're offering, uh, I don't want to call it a surprise, it's a surprise to you guys, but the customer wanted to set their Dodge Grand Caravan apart from every other Grand Caravan out there. Now granted, the interior already does that. Unfortunately, you don't see the interior when you're driving down the road. So. The customer opted to put some custom wheels on it, and we did just that. They came in yesterday, and this is what we've got. Ready? So this is the wheel that the customer has opted to put on for their all-season tires. Now here in New Brunswick, we generally run winter tires, and this particular deal is no different. So the like new all season tires that are on the van right now will go on these rims and the winter tires that we ordered will go on the factory rims so no matter what time of year scott and sarah are going to be driving around in style thanks for the business guys thanks for the repeat business this is like the third maybe fourth vehicle that you guys have bought from us we really really appreciate it and as I mentioned in a video earlier this week, we do have Scott's truck here, the Toyota Tundra, that we are chasing down a brake issue. And at first, the problem was, is a broken brake line. But ever since we fixed the brake line, we've, we're having trouble bleeding the air out. These things have a couple of different little distribution blocks or ABS related blocks uh, along the line, one in the front, one in the rear. And we're thinking that those have trapped air. So I think what we're gonna end up having to do is I think we're gonna have to invest in a pressure bleeder that runs on air. That way it forces a vacuum to get any of the air that's in the lines out and therefore hopefully solving the problem with that. And what we're experiencing, I took it for a drive yesterday at lunchtime, is you can, you can come right onto them binders with all your might and it will slow down, but that's about it. It won't lock the tires up. It just gradually comes to a halt. It's like you've got that pedal down as far as you can go. So there's no more pressure there to be had. So uh, we're still trying to fix that issue with them, uh, fix that issue for them uh, in hopes that today is the day that we are able to deliver two vehicles back to these folks. One, the Dodge Grand Caravan that they're buying and the pickup truck that they have there now. So uh, if you're following this story at all, you know that uh, they had hit a deer with their Ford Flex and they had a rental, their went, rental car went back on Tuesday. Obviously Scott's truck is here, so he can't, he's not driving it, which would lead one to believe that they are without a vehicle. Well, that's not the case because when, when their rental car had to go back, I volunteered to loan them a vehicle until we got the Dodge Caravan all st situated. And uh, hopefully, like I said, by the end of day today, we will give them back their Toyota Tundra truck. We'll get our vehicle back. They'll have everything 
back to normal. So anyways, that's the plan. And uh, you know, like I said, we're, we're very good customers and, and they're friends of mine too, they're personal friends. And uh, so I, I have no problem helping them out uh, when they are in need of a vehicle. So uh, you know, here we are tying up the truck. Uh, the, the vehicle they're buying isn't ready yet. So the least I can do was loan them something from the lot to, uh, to use this week to do their running around and get people back and forth to work and all that sort of thing. So um, I know they appreciate it. They're, they're, very, they're very thankful people and I'm very thankful to have them as friends. Now that is one classy van. Just look at that shine and the wheels. Those wheels really set it off. Good choice, Sarah, on the wheels. Hopefully she'll let me get a little bit of a video of her and her family when the time comes. And there go some very happy customers. in their stylish new van. And on a completely different note, today is the day that I am going to be heading up to pick up my heads for the Mopar. So that is going to be a separate video which I started a couple of weeks ago when I took them up. So we'll finish that off when I get up there today to pick those up and hopefully get a little bit of a tour of the engine shop up there and work a deal with the owner. So hopefully you'll have some pretty good uh, content coming your way in the next video so today's video this one will go up on saturday so hopefully by tuesday i'll have that video filmed and edited ready for you guys to enjoy so as always there are four links in the description box below and each one of them is another way to support my channel rather than just watching my videos the first one being bonfire.com where you can get yourself some very very good quality old car auto guy t-shirts and hoodies the second one is straight six fan and the third and fourth are my patreon and my tube buddy affiliate guys thanks so much for watching you guys are doing awesome at commenting and hitting that like button and sharing my videos out there don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already that is the little red box right down here hit that bell notification so you get notified every time i upload a new video guys thank you so much stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror i love you guys god bless License plates, I'm still looking for your license plates. If you've got some extras, send them my way. My addresses are down below. Thanks guys, let's do it again next time.